All right, well, let's be using a Dremel with a Cutsaw Extreme Flame Burr Bit 1 8 shaft. This will be my first Santa Wood Spirit. <laughs> Send it out to him and he should be doing an unboxing video here soon so if you haven't checked him out check out mock pot videos has some really really cool diving videos he scoots around on the scooter don't be afraid to carve too deep uh, i don't think there's such a thing so let carve under the eyebrows up on a 45 degree angle through there and through there and then we'll cut in here and feather all this back too. Pretty deep up in there. I don't know if you can see from the side or not. Don't be afraid to carve deep up on a 45 under the eyes. Now we'll start doing some shaping, carve the cheeks off, and we'll go from there. What do you guys think so far? So I think neck, carve in like right under the eyes. Then we'll carve in the cheeks right here. Maybe uh, go to the forehead and come down. Uh, gotta carve under the nostrils. Okay. Don't be afraid to turn your piece, whatever is comfortable, to make your cut. So, uh, yeah, it's getting there. As you can see, I carved most of his mustache off, so we're going to redraw that in. All right, let's carve in the mustache again. Remember guys, it don't have to be perfect, it's a wood spirit. And we're gonna carve age lines in there. Maybe more downward. And uh, we'll feather these cheeks back. And like he said, just a little bit of eyebrows. All right, does it look like Santa? Not really. We'll go from there. Thank <laughs> you. 
gotta feather all this back and then redraw the hat in and then we'll start shaping the nose. <laughs> As you can see, it's still coming together. The eyebrows stick out way too far. So we're gonna carve those back. We'll just keep carving deeper. Car well, I guess we'll mess with this a little bit now. Carve the mouth. <laughs> right under the hat.
his ball fell off. Ah. All right, let's cut some beard hairs and just see how it turns out. <coughs> All right, well, I don't know if that was recording, but I'm going to switch to this uh, roto zip bit and do a little detail. not looking too bad I'm gonna do a little sanding with I have a little uh, thing I made like Jordy makes a little different what I do so I just use regular sandpaper I use this to punch a hole stacked about five or six on top of each other we'll put it into the Dremel turn it on real low low as it'll go All right. 
and we'll give it a light sanding. If you push down a little hard, it'll slow down even more. Jordy says the more you sand, the better they'll look. But just don't sand away your detail. All right, let's clean up so we don't get dust on the paint. Here's one I'm working on, the big one. That'll be a whole nother video. Maybe someday I'll be cool like Jordy and have me a dust collection table. Found this, it's not 99 cent store stuff, but it's in some of the paints we have. So this looks like a vintage white folk art and this one is cardinal red folk art we'll give these a shot and a little 99 cent harbor freight paintbrush first we'll dust this off and then we got to go find some paint trays not too bad for my i think this is my sixth wood spirit ever um i think three or four of them i didn't even finish they're over there in a bucket but uh we'll do the beard first put a little paint on this paint tray all right Some thick paint, thicker than I thought it was going to be, so we'll get it around there. Yeah, so we're just working it around. I'm doing kind of light stuff since this is, oh, broke part of his eyebrow. That's okay. Got some hairs coming off here. Anyways, just paint it all white. Not too bad so far. Might need a littler paintbrush so I'll get it all over his little lip. But we'll try and shake it up in there. Remember guys, don't have to be perfect to try and if you get a little bit of paint on his lip or his nose, we'll just sand it off. We'll wait till it dries and do that. Alright, it's coming along. So we got a little bit of red paint on our paint tray. And now we're going to paint the Santa hat. Oh, I forgot the little ball. Do the little ball first. I didn't listen to you, Jordy. I should have let the white dry, but I'm not patient. Kind of like you. Just want to get things done, see what they look like. So we're going for it. So we might have a pink hat when we're done, but if the pink and white touch or red and white touch, I think next time I will let it dry or I'll do a whole bunch at once. So, I'm getting some white in the red now. Maybe if I put a little more red on my brush. So if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and hit that follow and like button. Turn on some notifications because I'm going to be doing some more videos. Uh-oh, I got white. I might have to come back and touch that up, Jordy. Maybe not. Well, this took me a lot longer than 15 minutes, Jordy, but, uh, hey, I got the finished one. Think I can sell it? 